Hi, this is Ilana Pellet with Academic Success for All, and this is part one of my three-part video series on using EFT for academic success. And in this video, I want to talk about why it makes so much sense to use EFT if you are someone who has struggled to experience success in an academic setting. Particularly if you are somebody who knows that you are a smart and capable person and all you need is that academic validation of your ability to go out and succeed in the world. One of the things that happens to us early in our lives is we learn to experience a stress response in certain environments and for a lot of people school can be one of those environments where you learn that stress response. And when you're having a stress response your brain is producing hormones which are in fact associated with what is known as the fight or flight mechanism. And so that is a mechanism that tells your body whether you should stick around and fight it out or whether you ought to flee the situation you are in. Well those hormones are not particularly comfortable. They cause great feelings of discomfort and unease and they're not particularly appropriate in certain situations such as an academic setting. And yet sometimes just sitting in a classroom can cause, um, can trigger that stress response. Sometimes certain elements of the academic experience like a big assignment or perhaps a test can also trigger that experience. One of the things that we know that EFT does is that it works to lower the level of the stress hormone in your body and when that stress hormone has been reduced in the body you then have greater access to your higher reasoning abilities and to your memory and you can imagine how having access to those higher reasoning abilities as well as your memory can be particularly useful when you're in an academic setting. Now the great thing about EFT is that EFT shows us where on the body we can stimulate certain acupressure points that are known now to reduce the level of stress hormone in the body. So you may be somebody who when you're in a stressful situation perhaps wrings your hands together, maybe you rub your temples, squeeze the bridge of your nose, or you rub this area under your nose, a lot of people do those things naturally and find them soothing and we know now from science that in fact they are soothing because by stimulating those points you are lowering or reducing the level of stress hormones in your bloodstream. Now on my website, um, which I've listed here below, you can go and print out a handout which shows you precisely where the acupressure points are on the body that are associated with this stress hormone reducing ability. And once you know where those points are, you can stimulate them either by rubbing them or tapping on them gently um, and actually reduce the level of stress hormone in your body. And you can do that anytime you find yourself in a stress producing situation. So next week I'll go into a little bit more depth about using AFT for academic success. But for now, if uh, you find the information useful, if you give this um, approach a try and you see that it's working for you, I'd like you to leave a comment and let me know how it turns out. This is Ilana Pellet with Academic Success for All.